Well, hello everybody. Look what I got today. Spider traps. Ooh. We're going to get these bastards. So, you take off this wicked sticky ass shit in here. And then you fold it right on the other side of the sticky sides. Even though the side is sticky. And then you do the fold here, and then you do the fold here, and then you make yourself do the hokey pokey, and you shake your wiener around. So there. So there's your spider trap. So the spider can say, hey, look, there's a way out. So the dumbass walks in there and gets caught. So I am going to basically take some of these. I'm going to throw a few together, and I'm going to leave them around the shop. For these sneaky little pricks because I don't want that goddamn thing crawling up my ass when I'm working on a car or working on something. So I'll put one over here. I got eight of them. I'll put another one over here in the corner. I'll probably put one here in the corner because they like corners, you know. So I'll set a few of them up. And I'll do the motion magic. And poof. So there we go. So, let's see where we want to put some of these. I can only hold so many at a time. I don't want to get that sticky shit all over my hands. Well, I know they like it. They like sneaking in by the door. Because that's usually what I do is I open the door and they come wandering in. And yeah, I don't want one here, but my wife would probably back over it. We'll put one here and then we'll put one here. That leaves me three more. Basically, at the entrances is where I'm going to put these things. Because that's where they like sneaking in. They're like, it's cold outside. We want to come in. And then every now and then, you know, I'll check them. Okay, so I got one in the middle, one there. One each by the doors. I wanted to put one there, but... I am not going to move that with my foot. We'll put one here. And then, let's see, I got one there. And then we'll stick one over here just for the hell of it. Just in case he sneaks in through the door. All right. So there. I left the other half of these in the house. Just for the hell of it. So... Now watch, I'll catch the freaking mouse in it, right? That's, that's be, that'd be my luck, I'd catch the goddamn mouse in it. I'd be like, you gotta be shitting me. Because they're sticky as hell. And of course, the stupid mouse, I think he's gone. I honestly think the mouse is gone now, because I haven't heard anything from him in a while. So, mouse, he went on the bye-bye. So, I sent the other one back, here's the new one. Here is the new one. Since... I think I blew up the other one. I ruined the other one. And uh, I'm not admitting that out loud, but something happened to the other one. And this was my fuse. <laughs> so that was my temporary fuse before I realized something backwards. So luckily... I already have a hanger for this in my car. I'll take a little lens off. And here we go again with this, right? Yeah, I know. Here we go again. I'll grab my 400 megapixel card. And I don't know if this can handle a 400. But if it can't, then uh, we'll see what the hell happens. It might just say, you know... 
click, click, clicks in nice. It would just tell me the SD card's too big. So I left this in my car. This goes to the windshield, so that's already up there. Um, so this goes on the back window. I don't need the screws. Well, it seems like deja vu. This is going to get stuck to the glass, and it needs power. I don't know why in the hell it would need power, but it does have a black wire. It's got black wire. Yeah, it's got a big black wire. It does have a red wire, and I assume that it's going to go to power. But there's no fuse in it. I don't know why there's no fuse. So, but that's okay, because the car battery's back there, so I have plenty of room. So here's a little stupid baby chip they gave me again, a 32 gigabyte, which is cute. I'll put that in my motion camera out front. Because my motion camera on my porch, I realized I don't have a card in it. So, let's uh, untangle this spaghetti goddamn mess, because nothing can ever just come undone easily. And uh, let's take you back to the car. Boy, this thing doesn't weigh nothing. But I really do like the three-way. Oh, I always like the three-way. The um, So basically what I'm doing for now is I'm just running this through the grab handles of my car. So there's grab handles up there. And that's all I'm doing right now. Because this is just, uh, you know, I'm just running it through the grab handles, as you can see. Later on, I just want to make sure this piece of shit works, that's all. Okay, I'm plug this in. Set this down, hang on a minute. Okay, good sign, we got power. And it's staying lit. I'm going to turn this around so I can see it in the car. You know, so I can look back and say, yep, the red light's on. Arr face it this way so it annoys the living shit out of me when I'm driving all right so there's my power line and let's see I got this just dipsy doodled around through all this horse shit here there's my mount I left right there we're just gonna run this through the visor and look at this this ain't staying like this so don't don't think you know this is the kind of work I do because it'll be ran through here is what's going to happen. But I'm not going to go through all the bullshit now and then worry about it later. So let's plug this in. Okay. Ooh, the light came on. There we go. Now I may have to focus. Three candle. Okay. Buh, buh, buh. All right. Now, what's it doing? It's probably thinking about, holy shit, this has got a 400 gigabit byte card in me. Okay, is there something I'm supposed to do here? Um, let's hit the OK button. Let's hit any button. Is it thinking about what it wants to do? All right, give me a minute here. Okay, so basically, you have to put your card in after it turns on. So once it comes on, then put your SD card in. So I'm going to go in here, I'm going to wipe the SD card, and then we'll go from there. All right, so here it is. Now it's looking out the front window. And then, let's see, one, two, third button over. You push it. There's the inside camera. But you can see my fingertip moving up in this little box. One, two, three buttons. There's the back camera showing the back of the door. Okay, so now here is... A full view of me recording you. Let me zoom in on that. So there's me. 
Where's my hand? Hi. And there's a full view of the garage door behind me. And then there's a full view of the front. So. And then this one here is a microphone on and off. And this one is selector button. So it's on 1080p FHD movie. That's how you select your other shit. Microphone off, but there we go. I want it to record front and back, but I think it does all three at the same time. It just can't show all three on the system at once. So you're seeing my fingers right here, and the camera is looking back at me. So... I don't know if you can see my stupid face there without the camera being in the way, but, well. So there's the camera looking back at me. And you can kind of see me up there. But it's got 1080p written on the screen. There's a back door. Oh, there I am. So where am I? Where am I pointing this goddamn camera? So there's a, few, a full view of me in the car. There's a full view of the back door of the garage if I could hold this goddamn camera still and then here's a front full front view of the car and there's that I wanted there we go so I wanted the front and rear of the car recording I don't care if it records me or not but I'm in there I got my camera mounted straight but it should be on a little crooked because this thing the inside camera, um, let me turn this back on again. I don't know if that matters any, but I'll just zoom in, turn the light on. So this inside camera here doesn't seem to be wide enough to cover the whole car. It covers like right down the middle of the car. So if I wanted to be seen in the camera, I'd have to come over this way more to be in the camera view, which is weird. But at the moment, it's it's showing the rear door in the upper right and the front of the car. Um, but right now, you know, I've got these freaking LED lights that makes everything look blurry as shit. So that's what it looks like on the camera. Once I get it outside, it'll look better. But, yeah. So, that's it. And you can turn the screen off by just pushing this button here on the end and it'll stay on. And, of course, I did my, my duct tape routine just to hold the wires out of the way for now because this is going to be a test run for me. And I'm not going to permanently install this until I make sure everything is going to freaking work. So the wires and shit just gets all drooped in the back window here. And they can all just sit back there for now with an extra piece of tape. I can rip duct tape off for Christ's sakes. I need a cameraman. Hang on a minute here. I need a anybody have a cameraman around here? Alright, so basically I just stuck a piece of tape there. It's just temporary. Temporary permanent I mean permanently temporary holder for now. And so I got all the settings set for G Shock. Um it's got like two, four, six, and eight. I said it on two would be the lowest, I guess. So if somebody comes up and rams your car, what it'll do is it'll save it into a video file. Well, look, here's the directions. Ron reads these. I don't read these. I just figure shit out on my own. <laughs> I'm like, eh, what's this crap? I don't know. Keep pushing buttons till something happens that I want it to do. That's pretty much what I do. So there it is. And I got myself an extra mount in case I want to change the camera and move it more towards the front. You know what I forgot about this is there's a double mirror. I've got a double mirror on this car. And I forgot all about it because if you look, there's two mirrors there. This is a reverse backing up mirror. There's actually a TV screen in there. 
and I forgot about that. It's like, wait a minute, I don't need that on there. So I can actually take this off and move my camera to the center of the car. So, I left my window open. So anyways, there is that. And people even have a warning, you know, to let them know. So, will they read it? I don't know. But if you look right there, there's the camera. There she is. I stuck it right to the bottom of the light bar. And uh, I wasn't going to bring it up close, but I'm like, hey, it works right there. Yep. So, somebody be like, I don't see no dash cam, you know. And it's looking at him right in the face. Anyhow, there it is. It works. I can see my little red light on in there in the back seat. So right now, that's only drawing power out of the rear battery and not touching any of my front battery. So if that depletes the rear battery, big deal. When I start the car up, it'll charge it. All right. So that's it. I did get a couple things done today. Today started out as a shit crap day. And, uh, yeah, maybe we'll get this spider out of here. The dogs keep sniffing at it when they come out. Here, get out here in the main floor. So, carpet will be coming for this. I got to find, like, a remnant or something. And, um, like I said before... I want this carpeted because, I don't know, I might go with a brown or a gray. I could have went, like I said, with that gray again. But looking at the stains it gets on it, I want a darker color. So, like I said, this would be like the clean room. And I still have to find some of this material here. I found some. I didn't order it yet because I, I think the holes are bigger than this. But I almost screwed up. I had to get an advance from my wife for 20 bucks to put it in my checking account because I've been buying everything that wasn't tied down. No, I was paying my bills and shit. And then I forgot. I got this money in my checking account. I was like, where the hell did this 76 bucks come from? I wonder how that come from. It was my state refund, you know, because you're supposed to be, when you get paid from YouTube, you're supposed to be paying in on that. And I don't. I'm like, whatever. I'll make it up at the end of the year. Usually from the profit of selling something. Then that's, that's what I do. But it's weird because I owe the IRS $82. And I got 76 back from the other place. I forgot about setting it up. So on the 6th of this month, the IRS federal takes my $82 right out of my account. I'm like, oh, shit, I don't have enough in there <laughs> because somebody keeps buying parts for for this thing over here. But little parts. So anyways, instead of me running down, taking, you know, my emergency stash money, my wife just wrote me a check for $25, so that'll be that. But anyways, shit happens, you forget stuff, a lot going on, and I'm going to say this is like a piece of gold right here now, because I got an extra bracket, okay, so I'm, I'm, because I'm going to pull that second mirror off of there, because I don't need a TV screen up there, it was for my backup camera that I ripped out, because it's all cruddy, but I'm thinking twice on this helicoil kit, and uh, I think I might do it. I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is gonna put a screw on those pressing caps I did, because they're basically made for sheet metal, and I'm gonna pull with pliers on it. And if it pulls right out, heal the coil. Because what happens is when that bike goes down and it hits some chrome bumpers, them bumpers take the beating. And if those little caps don't stay squished into that aluminum, they're gonna fall right off. And they're going to make a mess. So that's something I can't really fart around with. But, yeah, so I might end up helicoiling it. That might be the uh, thing I'll be doing there. And what the hell is the last thing? Oh, I talked to the 
the guy I get parts from for this, for the Toros. And I said, hey, you wouldn't happen to have another front drive shaft, would you? He goes, yeah, I got one left. He goes, 100 bucks plus shipping. That's what it was last time. That's cheap because I sold my other one for 300 But um, I don't think I'm going to do it because looking at the size of the spline on that is uh, three-quarter going to a half-inch pump. I think I can make my own connector. I'm pretty sure I can do my own connector. And then, uh, and that's it. I'll have the hydraulic tank is coming tomorrow. So I'll probably take off my, my rack system here, move it to the other side, and mount my hydraulic tank in here. Just weld the bracket off the back here and mount the tank here. And then that way I can run my hydraulic lines right up to the pump control. And... Uh, yeah, disconnect, disconnect this, run it off the other one, and get that the hell out of the way. And I was looking for another one of these, but I may not have to. I might be able to just use this as a pressure up, and then the release side would just dump back into the tank as it pushes down. So I could still use that. It, now it would just have more power. And then the hydraulic system will be just for moving the, the machine. And that's it. So the machine's own hydraulic system just going to power the wheels and the steering. And that's it. So then it won't power any of the lifting. The second pump will power all the lifting. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that PTO shift he's got is well worth 100 bucks Because... I can easily, I can sell for two fifty in like 10 minutes on eBay. But uh, I think I'm going to pass. I'll come up with a different way around it. But that's it for now. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Ron, I hope you're paying attention to some of that. Um, don't put the SD card in until you turn the damn thing on, then pop it in. Um, so I do have the 400 gig in there now. So it accepted it. I pushed it in. I had to reformat it. And then uh, I took a few clicks to figure it out, to reformat. But it was pretty easy. All right. Have a good one. I'll catch you guys later. At least now I'm protected. If I get rear-ended or some asshole cuts me off, now it's on video. So have a good one. Like, subscribe, and share. Let's get going here. Let's get people piling on this channel. I ain't making shit for money on here anymore. I don't know what the hell's going on. But, oh, that's what happened. I thought it got lighter in here. The outside lights came on. Yeah. So this is how dark it is in the garage at night. All night long. This is this is how bright it is in here. So, yep. No burglars can get into my garage without me seeing them. Because I'm watching you through that camera. And it, it looks just like this, too, from inside the house. Alrighty, take care.